Hello, welcome to Papa Sue Creative. Today I'm going to show you how I create these silhouettes inside a frame so they cut all in one piece uh, as a cutout, more like cut work. Everything you see in white goes away and everything you see in green stays and then you can mount it uh, any way you like. So let's get started. For uh, time's sake, I've already created all the pieces that we're going to use. Basically, I've created a, a 6 by 4 inch frame because that's the way I generally cut because I make cards. Uh, it's an open frame. The only thing important about doing this is to make sure that your border is wide enough. This is a frame that I put inside this frame and that did a path difference. So this is open space and that's what we're looking for. Joy, just text. I like a bold font I, because we're going to be cutting a lot of little pieces and uh, sometimes I even will take my font and do a path outset to make it a little bigger. Uh, how you do that uh, on your version, I'm using Inkscape 0.48 for cutting in sure cuts a lot uh, so you want to make sure that this is an open space and then these are just three silhouettes that uh, I converted from JPEGs or you can find them on fonts however you do it the important thing is that they're nice clean uh, images we'll go to outline mode so that you can see them. They're nice clean images uh, in good shape. They don't have a lot of extra stuff and I will often if I can get away with it do a path simplify to cut some of the nodes to make the cutting go a little faster. So let's start putting it together. We'll go back to normal. Having done about five or six of these in the last month or so I've learned to make a copy of all of these pieces. I'm not sure I got that one. Yeah, I did. Because after I start putting it together, I make changes and then it's a little hard to go back. So we're going to start working here. Uh, I'm going to take Joy first and put it in. Now what you want is just to have a small portion of the red intersecting the green here and here. That's anchoring joy to this frame in this open space. And we'll take the trees, bring the trees over. Now you can see that I the trees are a little wider than I need them and I don't want that so I'm going to just drag it in if you're one of those people who like to use uh, the sizing and everything, that works just as well. It's your eye and the way you do it. Uh, let's take the child. I also like to make these different colors so when I put them in I can see them overlapping a little uh, more. So there's his hand is just in the green and these little bottoms on the top of the J. And then we've got our last piece. We'll bring these in. Now I want her hand anchored uh, into that frame and at least his foot. So I can do it that way. So because these two are anchored together, he's anchored to the Y and she's anchored to the frame, everything should cut in one piece. Now you're not limited with uh, the size I've used. You can make these larger if that's what your eye wants. So it's however looks good to you but provides all the anchors you need. Uh, so when you cut it in one piece, uh, they hold together. Everything you see in white is going to cut out. 
everything you see in a color is going to stay. So let's go look and see what we've got. We'll go to the view outline and double check. I work a lot with the magnifying glass. I can see that I've got a little too much tree right here and I don't want that so I might just bring that in a little bit and let's get a little more of this tree. Okay, and the top. Mm, there. Uh, you're going to look at this a lot. You're probably even going to cut it a lot until uh, you get the hang of how to visually perceive what you're doing. I have a lot of spatial problems, so it makes it hard for me. So now I can see he's anchored. I got a little bit of his hand anchored. This is good. This is good. Uh, everybody looks good. Okay, let's assemble him. Go back to normal mode. Now, what you're doing here is now you're going to union all of these pieces together. So we'll start with the tree. Click on it. Shift. Click on your frame. Path union. Do the same with all the other pieces. Okay. That looks good. View it one more time. Nice space here for her hand. The Y's there. They're attached. He's attached. Joy's attached. The hand's attached and the trees are good. So basically uh, that's all you need to do until you cut it. And then you might find you have to come back and start over or dither with it again. Uh, but basically now you have created your own tableau with your own uh, images that work for you. It does not matter what these images are so long as they're vector images, uh, silhouettes without too much going on inside. You can come in here and uh, do some more cutouts in here if you want. Uh, once you cut it out, remember everything white is going to be white, so you can do whatever works for you. When uh, you go to my blog, you're going to find that I have posted all of these pictures, this whole file here, on my blog, along with the video. So if you want to download all of these pieces and practice, they'll be there for you. Uh, I do hope you try this. It's a lot of fun. Uh, few pieces, as many pieces. Uh, you'll get the hang of it after a while and you can make some really beautiful things. Thank you very much for being here today. Uh, come by my blog, papasucreative.blogspot.com. <laughs>